Okay, here is the putting plane stick. Basically, it's the string line, and we're using the same pieces of metal, and the metal has little loops at the end where you can fit in a standard aim stick. Uh, pretty simple to make this at home. These pieces of metal right here, uh, re represented by that red circle, are just a little bit thicker than a coat hanger, and I'd say they're 14 inches long with a tiny little loop that's big enough to feed an aim stick in. And what you want to do is you want to get your putter shaft gliding back and forth on that aim stick and you can actually hear it slide back and forth. That's the goal. You don't want to press it too much and bend it a little bit like we're seeing here, but you want it to glide ever so slightly back and forth and hope you can hit some putts and hopefully a bunch of these putts go in. You can adjust the aim of this aim stick plane tool that we've got here by either pushing in one of these aim sticks a little farther or pulling one out farther to change the orientation where it's aiming. Over here on the right there's the shaft moving gently down the aim stick so that's a perfectly on plane putt. And we'll note you really know if you're doing something with the face because the path is perfect now the face is the critical factor and the face and putting is you know, primarily what causes the ball to go where it does. So this is your aim stick plane device.